So last fall, we acquired a group of confiscated eastern box turtles. So eastern box turtles are the species that we have here in East Tennessee, throughout most of Tennessee, um, in the southeast. And these guys were confiscated. They were trying to be smuggled out of the country illegally. Um, they were busted. So these turtles were then sent to us to kind of triage. So the zoo has been a really long-term kind of turtle uh, tourist facility. So a lot of that comes from our Madagascar spider tourists and, and flat toe tourist programs. But overall, we're, we're known pretty widely as a, as a turtle place. So it just made sense that we would be a partner with this. Ultimately, we want all these confiscated turtles to be back out on the landscape. So that has a number of issues or challenges, um, trying to identify where they came from, where they're best suited, if they're exposed to pathogens, and numerous other things are all kind of playing into this. So the North American Safe Program is kind to trying to work on how to how to face these challenges and move forward with these. So we have these seven box turtles. Um, one of these will be going to be an outreach animal, and then the other six will be going to be at a nature center. So there's, there's various phases of this kind of program. So once confiscations happen, there's the initial kind of triage. You're trying to, some of these turtles are in really rough shape, so we're trying to balance their um, nutritional and medical needs, if they need treatment, if they get disease testing, a lot of times they need fluids. Um, and then once they kind of stabilize, they might go to a second phase, which might be a facility that they're still being housed individually to handle these confiscations. It's gonna take a whole lot of folks and a whole lot of space and time. And, and, and one of the challenges with this is that you also have the space, you have to have the space that you could literally at a moment's notice say, get a call and say, hey, there's a confiscation and then we're gonna ship it to you tomorrow morning, are you ready? A lot of times folks kind of forget that, especially here in East Tennessee in the Southeast, uh, we have a really incredible diversity that's not found anywhere else. So box rolls, for example, you might come, commonly come across them, especially in East Tennessee. So people, I think, often think that maybe these are really common when they're actually not. They're actually listed as vulnerable by the IUCN. These have definitely been um, certain wetlands or streams that have had most of the turtles that are known, the resident turtles, be poached out. Um, so obviously from a, a small scale level, it's very detrimental. It's exploration of these animals and those ecosystems. People might say, oh, I could take this turtle, whatever. There's, you know, I saw five more, I'm only taking one. That's gonna be fine. The problem with turtles is that they lay, at least these species lay really small egg clutches. And then it takes a long time for that turtle to, to make it to adulthood, if it even does. So for box turtles, they actually live in our backyard. So there's lots of things that we can do. The, the biggest one, obviously don't buy or pick up and keep a box turtle illegally. Um, and the other biggest thing that you can do is if you can safely stop if there's a turtle on the road, again safely, um, is to put it in the direction that it's heading. So most of these turtles, especially box turtles, have a pretty set, relatively small, like several football fields, typically is like the core habitat of eastern box turtles. Um, so folks, if they can safely stop and move it on the direction that they're doing is, the, is one of the best things that they can do.